what's up y'all it's kyra long time no vlog so today i'm coming to you guys with a a new diy project honestly a super impromptu but i recently found this like super cool diy on instagram and because me and dion are in the process of kind of decorating our entryway area i had thought that it'd be fun to kind of record the diy for you guys just in case it comes out good so if it comes out good i'll have it already recorded if it doesn't i'll just scrap the footage <laughs> but i basically came across a home decor page well actually it's a blogger but uh she's been posting a lot about her home decor and her instagram page is jc daily j-a-c-i dot daily and i stumbled across this image here and her style is a bit more boho than mine but she loves natural tones and textures just as as much as I do and I saw this image and I was instantly drawn to the vase so I was browsing her page and I discovered that she actually figured out a DIY to create vases like this um, really really cool definitely right up my alley and especially because of the style or the aesthetic that we um, are going for with the entryway um, I was like let me go ahead and see if I can recreate her DIY to achieve like that kind of rustic vintage vase aesthetic. Now there are places that you can go ahead and buy them as is. They're really expensive. They're a couple hundred dollars and just not quite worth it to me. And so I saw her DIY and I was like, let me go ahead and see if I can figure it out. So we are all prepped and ready out here. I found these two vases here. This one here, this white and tan one, I actually found at Home Goods. It was like 40 bucks. And then this one, I love this one. I actually wouldn't even mind leaving it as is, but it's just not quite the right color. It's like a really cool concrete. This is actually more of a planter, but me and Dion actually found this one yesterday at like a really cool local antique garden spot. And I just loved the vibe of it. The top is ceramic on this one. So me and Dion are kind of interested to see how it's gonna turn out since it has more of a glossy finish, but it should still work. And then this one is definitely like a really true terracotta planner. We're going to attempt to turn these two vases into some really cool, like restoration hardware inspired decor. So we had the two vases and then I went ahead and got this plastic um, cover today from Lowe's. Of course, they'll prevent, you know, us from getting spray paint everywhere. And I went ahead and bought this one here. It's the Rust-Oleum Ultimate Ultra Matte Spray Paint. So hopefully it'll work, but I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do both of them black or if I want to do um, the smaller one, a different color. So I also went ahead and bought this Krylon Fusion All-in-One Matte River Rock Spray Paint. It's more of like a neutral. I'm gonna for sure do the, the taller vase, this color, and then see how it turns out. And then I may do the smaller one, either this color or this color here. And then the idea is that you're supposed to spray paint it, okay? And then like let it completely dry. And then once it dries, what she does is she just smears damp dirt on the vase to create that more rustic, you know, vintage antique look. So we're going to try it and see how it works. We actually went to Lowe's and bought some sand because we couldn't find just dirt. So we bought some sand as like a backup, but Dion is coming out here to tell me what he found. Go right, back. So I got some dirt for you, right? He got some dirt from the front uh, yard. No, I got a Oh, where'd you go? In the coat sack. Oh, he, he randomly went and bought some dirt in our cul-de-sac. Keep going. Yeah. Well, I didn't have to buy it. It was free. That's okay, it was free. <laughs> it. Okay, where are you going to put this in? You can just put it right there inside. Okay, so about to get started. Give this a try, and hopefully, just hopefully, this is going to all work out. Okay, so here is the first vase, and you can kind of see right here how it's drying super matte, which is exactly what we wanted. And honestly, I really love it already, just with it being black. It's gonna look so good. All 
right, y'all, so we just finished up round one for our projects. Spray painting it was really easy, especially because all it took was just one coat. I didn't get some of those areas right there in the inside, as you can see. So some of those areas are not quite all the way coated, but it won't make too much of a difference because you won't really see it unless you're looking at it from the top. But here's the first vase. And then here is the second one, which I love. This one gave me a run for our money because that spray paint can was a disaster. Like halfway through it, it started acting up and I had to improvise and I got paint all over my hands, but I love how it looks and how it came out. So they're both dry now they both dried super quick so that's perfect and now i'm about to go ahead and do the fun part which is to smear on the dirt that dion picked up from our street okay so here we have the damp dirt slash mud i just put the dirt in a cup and then just wet it up and then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to smear the dirt on the vase and then let it dry completely. And then the last step is gonna to be to take a paper towel and then it'll kind of rub over it to get rid of any of the excess dirt. But it should look something like this. And then of course have gloves, smear it on there and then let it dry. So I just completed step two, which is just to smear the damp dirt on both of the vases. So I pretty much made like two different mud mixtures. This one here is definitely more gray. Um, just a better compliment, you know, that light cream color that we, or spray paint that we used at first. So this one's more like a cream and gray. And this one, as you guys can see, is more like a black and like light brown. But here is what it looks like as of now. Really cool, really cool. And then I'm supposed to just wait for the dirt to completely dry, which I'm pretty sure this one is completely dried already. And then I just take like a towel or something like that and just rub off all of the excess dirt. It's kind of give me that tarnished antique look. This part is definitely way more tedious. And what's really cool about this one is that the more you scrub it, you can actually take off some of the black paint to create this really cool worn look on this base. That was something that white is actually peeping through. So you kind of have a mixture of like white, black, and like this really cool brown sand. So I'm gonna take it and just literally rubbing it like this. And you can rub it as little or as much as you want because of course the more you rub it, you know, the more dirt comes off. You guys, I'm loving how this is looking. Look at it. I'm obsessed with it. Y'all, that project was super tedious. I treated myself to a strawberry daiquiri because I needed it. But this is by far my favorite DIY project of all time. Let me go ahead and show you guys the finished product. Ta-da! So here are the final bases. And y'all, they came out so nice. It is custom, so like no one else in the entire world has this particular base and that makes it like 10 times better. <laughs> but they came out so nice. I love how both the vases complement each other. And I love how this one kind of has a little bit of variety because like I said, it has 
you know, those white tones, those black tones, and those tan tones. And then this one right here is more, you know, cream, taupe, gray, kind of pulls out more of those tones, but I really love how it came out. Honestly, you know, using the white base to begin with was total accident because I just gonna find you know, like a plain one starting off, but I'm so happy with how it came out. And I feel like using, you know, a white base as the base of this project really paid off. Let me stand back and kind of show you guys the table that we went with. I know that whenever I did uh, my last home updates video, I believe that I had showed um, an idea of the style that we were going for. And this is obviously not the same table, but me and Dion actually went to Restoration Hardware Outlet and we saw we both liked it. We wanted to kind of come home, think about it, sleep on it, make sure it was what we wanted. And we both agreed that this would like look perfect in this entry area. So we ended up going back, I think on Monday and picking, was it Monday, babe? So. When did we go? I think it was Monday. And it looks so good. And here is the vibe so far. And then I did want to note that even though I did use dirt on the vases, because I had spent so long actually wiping, you know, the excess dirt off and really kind of sand, honestly, it's more like sanding it down essentially without the sandpaper. Um, but because I took my time to really, you know, wear the vase and, you know, get rid of all the excess dirt, now whenever you touch it, like there's no dirt on my hands at all. All right guys, that's pretty much it for today's DIY project. I did wanna note though that on both bases, I had tried two different techniques with the dirt or the mud. On the larger black one, it was more damp. Like it was, it was still pretty thick, um, but it wasn't really watery or really runny. It was, um, it was just, it was truly damp, like just a little wet. On the smaller, rounder vase though, I had made that one more of like a mud concoction, so it was a lot more wet and runny. It's all about, you know, the finish that you want. The more sheer you want it, then the more muddy you want the dirt to be. But if you prefer, you know, more variety or more texture, then you wanna do, you know, a thicker, just damp dirt consistency. And mind you that if you go and buy those vases, those are gonna be easily three, 400 bucks from restoration hardware, a couple hundred dollars. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this DIY project. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys tried out, please go ahead and tag me, you know, in your poster videos, whatever it is. I would love, love, love to see. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.